Hello. And welcome to this 20 minute restore class as we focus on the hips for the whole body series. Um, if you have a pillow or blanket or bolster, you can go ahead and grab that. I'm just gonna use like a simple little pillow here. So if you have one, that's great. If not, that's okay too. Um, as always, we're gonna start just marinating in just a few scriptures. So if you want to put your pillow up against the wall, maybe press your back up against the wall, you can do so. Just making sure that you are comfy wherever you are. Remember that you can always lay down if you feel called to. Um, and making sure that you're listening to the body. So we're gonna get into the hips a little bit deeper today. Um, so making sure that we're not overextending ourselves. And if there's any burning sensation, I'm gonna invite you to come out of that shape and um, find another shape or just find rest wherever you are. So go ahead and close your eyes. And then see if you can just take about three or four deep, slow breaths. Noticing the rise and fall of your chest. Noticing if you're carrying any tension anywhere, maybe just doing a little body scan. We're going to be focusing on four different scriptures today, scriptures that we've been kind of listening to, hearing as we move throughout this series. And I'm just going to read two in this little Lectio Divina meditation that we're doing. So just take a deep breath in and just hear these words. Keep your thoughts continually fixed on all that is authentic and real honorable and admirable, beautiful and respectful, pure and holy, merciful and kind, and fasten your thoughts on every glorious work of God, praising him always. Choosing to be kind and gentle with ourselves, with our bodies, with each other. Just see if you can soften and sink into this space a little bit more. Hearing these words from Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day, offering your faith filled requests before God with overflowing gratitude. Tell him every detail of your life and God's wonderful peace that transcends human understanding will guard your heart and your mind through Jesus Christ. Taking a big breath in and a gentle sigh out. We thank you for this space. We thank you for our bodies. Help us to be kinder to ourselves, to others. Help us to think about things that are true and noble, merciful and kind. And help us to not worry. Worry what we should be doing, but just honor you when we find ourselves worrying, when we find ourselves maybe having anxiety about something. Maybe just turn that over to you. May we truly, sur truly surrender to your will. In your name we pray. Amen. When you're ready, gently come off the wall if you find yourself there and bring the palms of your feet together. You can remove the pillow or you can leave it there if you want to. And just come into this diamond shape. So you can take your feet further away or closer together and then just hinge over your hips. Just getting into those hips, just warming them up just a little bit. And see if you can really soften. So um, our hips are connected to our jaws. So see if we can really soften our face, soften our jaw, and just really breathe through the tension here. Maybe you want to hinge over your hips a little bit more. Maybe you just kind of want to rock side to side. Also getting that like 
left lower side body. I just love this, this little move, just kind of rocking side to side, maybe with your eyes closed. Just choose to soften here. Inhale and exhale. Choosing to be saturated in prayer. Overflowing with gratitude. And that God will guard your heart and your mind. Maybe hinging over your hips just a little bit more. Remember that you can pause this recording at any time if you want to stay in a shape a little bit more. Or gently move through uh, to your half pigeon. So something that's really good if you are expecting is finding, finding a modified half pigeon. So we're going to be holding these shapes for just a few breaths. Actually, let me turn to the side. Um, so if you want to bend your knee and then bring the palm of your uh, foot to your left knee, you're sitting kind of like zigzag a little bit and then hinge over your hips that way. If this is okay, then you can extend into half pigeon, sending that left, long behind, left, left leg long behind you, flexing your right foot. This is actually one of my favorite um, shapes. So really breathe through the tension here. So if you're in your half pigeon, make sure your hips are square towards the mat. And you either take your arms out long in front of you or out wide. So you're not like crunching your shoulders by your ears. It's really creating space here. If you want to grab a pillow, you can. Or if that's way too intense, remember you can come onto your back into your figure four. There's a few options here. One of my favorites is just kind of rocking side to side. Or go ahead and find that thigh, holding onto your left thigh, press your shoulders into the mat, flex your feet. So we're gonna take about five big breaths here. Kind of going to wherever you feel like you need to breathe through those hips. And just take a pause, breathing through the tension. Seeing if you can soften just a little bit more, noticing when your mind starts to drift. Just come back to that verse, whatever's pure and lovely, merciful and kind. Remember, you can stay in any shape as long as you'd like to, or just gently make your way over to the other side. So if you want to find that modified half pigeon, if you want to find um, on your back, climbing into that figure four, if you're taking a pause and you're in your um, tabletop like I am, you can just find those little hip circles, just kind of noticing how you're creating more space in the hips. Take your hip circles the opposite way when you're ready. And then just find yourself on the other side. So what I personally like to do, um, just kind of set myself up. If you want to come into a down dog, you have that option. You're coming into your half pigeon, lift your left leg high, and then bring your knee towards your wrist, and then walk that right foot back behind you. If you can, if you're in your half pigeon, see if you can point that back foot. So it's not, mine kind of, is, I'm a little pigeon toed, so I tend to want to kind of bring that foot in, but see if you can straighten out that foot back there making sure those hips are square, and then go ahead and find those five big breaths here. So either half pigeon, modified half pigeon, or figure four, whatever works best for you and your body. Choosing to surrender, to let go, soften.
One more big filling breath in. And exhale, side out. Maybe coming back into a down dog or your tabletop. Maybe find those hip circles or whatever you need before we move into our seat once more. And then gently coming into onto your seat and coming into your fire log pose or double pigeon. So if this is too much for you, you can just go ahead and um, find a seat. So I probably shared a lot of this before, but I did not like sitting crisscross applesauce as a child. And actually my knees were a little lifted. So this is how I would sit. My favorite place to sit um, was like this when I was a child. Um, when I started doing yoga, I started really working on opening up my hips, stretching my hips. And now my knees are more um, further down, closer to the ground now that I've been practicing for a while. So um, this was actually one of the shapes that I've avoided because um, it's really intense and it's uncomfortable, um, but we breathe through those. So if you want to take a block and go ahead and stack your right foot or left, whatever you want to start on is fine, um, over each other, flexing your feet, maybe placing that block underneath your right hip. If you're super flexy and want to hinge over your hips, you can go ahead and do that. This is about as far as I can go. So remember, remember we're listening to the body. We're being gentle and kind. We're breathing through the tension. And take about five big breaths here. Hearing these words from First Corinthians 6, 19. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. saturated in prayer. Keeping your thoughts fixed on what is authentic and real, honorable, admirable, beautiful, respectful, pure and holy, merciful and kind. Choosing to praise God always. Keep our hearts set on him, our minds set on him. Honoring God with our bodies. Taking a big breath in, maybe choosing to stay here if you like half pigeon or uh, double pigeon or fire log pose, or bring that right leg over your left coming into cow face. So this is a little bit more intense. It kind of gets like the inner thighs, a little bit of the hips too. So if you want to stay here, you can go ahead and um, come into cow face, maybe hinge over your hips. Flex your feet a little bit, breathing into the legs, breathing into the tension. I'm just kind of notice coming up. Notice if you want to clench your jaw and just soften. All the practice. Taking a big breath in, gentle sigh out, uncross the legs, bring the palms of your feet on the mat, and just go ahead and windshield wiper back and forth. Letting all of that go, really getting into the hips today. And as I've been saying, if you have extra time, I'm going to invite you to pause, maybe in a pose, maybe listen to some good music and just relax and just kind of hold that a little bit longer um, if you feel called to do so. If not, let's move to the other side. So stacking that left leg on top, maybe grabbing that block or blanket or pillow underneath your left hip, and then just go ahead and hinge over those hips. Seems like I always want to clench my jaw. So if you can soften, as I tell you to soften, I'm softening myself. So maybe hinge over just a little bit more, flex your feet, take about five big breaths here. Oh. 
Breathing in through the nose, sighing out through the mouth. Maybe staying in your double pigeon or cross your left leg over your right, kind of stack your knees over top of each other if you can. Flexing your feet, maybe holding onto your feet or tent your fingertips and then just hinge over. Breathing into the hips, breathing into the inner thighs, breathing into the tension. softening the whole body maybe lingering here a little longer bring the palms of your feet back onto the floor and just windshield wiper back and forth so we're going to do one more little hip opener um, before we move into our final resting pose. So if this is too intense, we're going to move into frog, which is actually one of my favorite shapes. It's pretty intense. So if it's too intense for you, we're just going to come into that wide-legged four fold. So point your feet towards the sky. Maybe you want to bring your feet a little bit closer together. Hinge over your hips. And just breathe through the tension here. See if you can keep your feet pointed towards the sky. So naturally, it feels a little bit better for me to bring my feet down. But see if you can practice bringing your feet um, to point towards the ceiling. If you want a little bit more today and come into your frog pose, then you're going to come into your knee, onto your knees, onto your palms. Um, it helps to have a wall behind you. So if you have a wall, you can go ahead and press your feet up against them. Your hips are in line with your knees. Your knees are right over your ankles and your feet are flexed. So if you need to grab your pillow, you can go ahead and do that. And we're going to find five Big expansive breaths here. So really breathing through the hips. See if you can pull the pit of your belly in towards your belly button and just breathe through that tension together. Keep your thoughts continually fixed on all that is authentic and real honorable and admirable, beautiful and respectful, pure and holy, merciful and kind. Fasten your thoughts on every glorious work of God, praising him always. Breathing in and sighing out. Remember, you can pause this recording at any time if you want to linger here a little bit longer. Or gently bring your knees together, coming into your hero's pose. Maybe placing your hand on your heart. Taking a big breath in. And then a gentle sigh out. And then just gently come into your final resting pose, however that looks like. Maybe taking your legs out wide, maybe finding a pillow to put your head under. <clears throat> you need to find happy baby to kind of open up the hips one last time. You can go ahead and find that. I'm just choosing to find rest here as we hear these words. Second Timothy 1, verse 7, it says, For God will never give you the spirit of fear, but the Holy Spirit who gives you mighty power, love, and self-control. Allowing yourself to find rest here and choosing to surrender in this space.
I invite you to stay here as long as you would like to or gently make your way to your seat with your hands on your heart breathing in sighing out Lord, we love you we thank you for the space we thank you for our breath our minds our hearts we thank you for our bodies help us to Think about things that are admirable and true and noble and beautiful and kind. And help us to pray to you more, surrender to you more. Help us to have self-control and love and your power. And help us to keep you at the center of our lives, our relationships, our families our everyday doings. We just thank you so much and we love you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. And namaste. Thank you for joining me today. I just love teaching hips, so I hope that you feel more open. I hope you feel a little bit lighter today. Um, next, we'll be focusing on the legs a little bit more and then the feet, and then we will be done this series. So I'm really excited to be here with you and I hope to see you very soon.